Jason with Long Range Only. I'm doing a little bit of test today. A lot of people have questions about uh, carbon barrels and uh, shot strings. We're actually getting ready to do a match in June, June at uh, Q Curie Cranch, the Night Force ELR Steel Challenge. And uh, we've always been a fan of the Christensen rifles, so we're thinking we'd like to use them. So today I'm out here, I'm going to do a test. It's a little bit cold, um, so you take that with a grain of salt. But what I'm doing is uh, I got the gun dialed, I checked my drops, um, put the gun in the truck, running to cool off in, in, in theory as to where it's not going to be ice cold. It's about 8 degrees out here today. Um, but to be a room temperature, and I'm going to do an 8 shot string. I got a uh, GoPro at the target, so I should be able to see whether which shots go up and down if there is any vertical dispersion. I'm going to try to do them as quickly as I can, but focusing mainly on my trigger pulls. Um, that match does have a 3 minute, I believe, uh, time frame for 4 targets and an 8 shot string. So just doing some testing here, you know, we're. Uh, we're the type that we don't believe it until we see it. So um, if this does good, this is probably the rifles we're going to be shooting at that match. So we'll see. All right, guys, I'm at the target here. Um, it's pretty wore out. I'm hoping the GoPro worked the way it was supposed to so that uh, I can uh, see all these hits come in. Um, I saw this one being my first one, so I made a little bit of correction myself. Um, the rest of them seem right in there. Uh, don't pay attention to that top. That's a bolt catching the, uh, the muzzle blo or the bullets blowing up there. So I'm actually pretty impressed with it so far. Um, I can count. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, you know, without actually watching the tape, I don't know if they all are all there. Like I said, I had a little bit of wind here. This range is always tricky, shooting down a valley here, and the winds are switching. Like right now, I can feel a, a wind across here. At, at the shooter, the flag was actually going the opposite direction, so you never know. So. Like I said, this is a test I did um, like to mainly get some confidence in carbon barrels. You know, we're kind of those guys that are uh, cold bore shooters. So we shoot, uh, we want to know where the first one goes and maybe even the second or the third. When you start talking about eight rounds, it's 
you know, it's kind of like rifle abuse. Uh, a lot of these matches, though, people aren't going to drive long distances to shoot, uh, you know, 35 rounds in a day, you know. So that's that's what we're kind of gearing up towards to do this. I uh, wouldn't say it's something that we're going to get into as far as uh, the direction of long range only, but it's something to be fun and we want to be a part of a, a, a great match there. So that's why I'm doing this testing. The things I used to do it, Christian's Arms Ridgeline, this is actually the uh, same rifle I did the off the shelf, um, out of the box themed uh, review on. To this day, the only thing I've done is I did swap out the trigger to a, uh, a special trigger tack rather than the primary to get a little bit lighter trigger pull. Um, I put the side discharge uh, titanium Christensen brake on it, like I talked about in the review, um, and put a uh, or adjustable cheek piece on it. But otherwise, that it's a it's a factory uh, Christensen Ridgeline rifle, the pretty affordable rifle for 1,900 bucks, being a carbon fiber barrel, carbon fiber stock. So I'm pretty impressed so far. I hope that uh, when I review the tape, my my feelings don't change. But um, using the Burger 215 ammo in it, just the factory stuff, uh, Sig uh, 5 to 25. Whiskey 5 with the level plex in it, which helps in these faster target acquisitions. It'll tell you if you got off level between the two shots. But hopefully, this all turns out good. Looking at this, I'm pretty happy about it, so stay tuned. All right, back in the office here, got a chance to review that tape. Um, as you can see, all eight hits are there. Again, I did adjust my hold after that first one, changed my windage hold a little bit, and then put the other seven in line. Um, extremely happy with those results. Rough measurements are about a five to five and a quarter inch group and that plate is a 550 yard plate so extremely happy with that um, again this is a factory Christensen rifle this is the same rifle I used for the off-the-shelf theme review so still has the factory spot bedding in it um, haven't haven't done anything to this rifle I, the only thing I've changed is I did swap out to the the trigger to a um, special trigger tech from the primary they come with get a little bit lighter uh, trigger pull there and put the side discharge brake on it and adjustable cheek piece. That's it. This rifle I've been hunting with for about two years so it's been a very good rifle and put a lot of meat in the freezer for me. Always shot the Burger 215 ammo in it. As you can see from that test I'm not going to reload from for this match because that ammo frankly should probably shoots better than I can pull the trigger so I'm extremely happy with that. Um, what we're going to do going forward we're actually going to order a couple McMillan stocks to put these two rifles into for this match. Uh, something a little more aggressive and frankly we just absolutely love the McMillan stocks so um, going to be a little bit better fit for again the match type uh, match type shooting there rather than this is this is a hunting setup you know this matter of fact this setup right here with the bipod ready to go is 10 pounds um, just a touch over actually so it's it's a lightweight ri hunting rifle that we're actually going to take to a match um, any questions on the rifle, do look back at that review. Again, the Christensen Ridgeline off-the-shelf review. Any questions on the match, we actually have a thread going on the forum. You can jump in there and ask those questions. Um, we're going to be getting ready, so we'll, we'll give you guys updates as we go here. And no, don't forget, follow us on Instagram and uh, Facebook at longrangeonly.com. That's where most of our updates come in and things like that. At the end, I'm going to do something a little bit different here that we haven't really done in the past. Got a teaser for you. These are the new Kilo 3000 uh, range-finding binoculars from Sig Sauer Optics. So these actually pair to my Kestrel 5700 with applied ballistics in it and they will give me uh, drops and dial inside the unit as far as I can range. Did a little bit of testing with these, just had them a few days, but um, I already got in a, yard, a range over 3000 and 3192 if I remember right and it gave me a drop in there. So I'm pretty impressed. Uh, these guns are going to have some long legs on them. Excited to see how that goes. I'm going to be doing this kind of jointly with uh, Jose Gardner, so be looking for that coming forward. Um, any other questions, feel free to reach out to me uh, again on the forum, and uh, I will be uh, updating you as we go along here. Thank you.